We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday.
from the tyranny of greed, from the ugliness of racism, from the cancer of hatred, from the seduction of wealth, from the addiction of control, from the idolatry of nationalism, from the violence of apathy, from the ghettos of poverty, from the ghettos of wealth, from the lack of imagination. We are gathered here because we want to resist that that is happening, that is killing our brother. Fly. With the slaughter of innocents, we will not comply. With laws that betray human life, we will not comply. With the destruction of community, we will not comply. With the pointing finger of malicious talk, we will not comply. With the ravaging of the earth, we will not comply. With principalities and powers that oppress, we will not comply. With the raping of women, we will not comply. With governments that kill, we will not comply. With the tyranny of fascism, we will not comply. With the business of militarism, we will not comply. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is darkness, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, Once more, come on. Once more. Separation of Hatred to run through 
hatred, to spread violence, to rape, to kill, and to arson. Me and you, wherever we are, in any corner of this world, your voice and my voice matters. We will speak to our friends, we will speak to our neighbors, we will even speak to somebody who no longer understands us at this moment. We will not allow our children once again to bear the burden of hatred. Why should our children be taught hate? We will protect them with everything we have. And we will begin by ensuring that we do not point a finger. You and me, for years, have been used by selfish people who are there to push forward their own agendas. Wherever we are, for us women in Meghalaya also, often we are subjected to the kind of misogyny and hate for people who want to push ethno-nationalist politics that other people who they feel don't belong enough they use you and me all the time and this time also this is what it is and that's why let us begin we are almost afraid to talk of peace we are almost afraid to talk of justice and reconciliation we are all tiptoeing. We don't want to offend somebody. But we should not be afraid. When truth and justice is on our side, when we speak the language of truth, we should not shy down and be afraid. And that is what it is. is that we have to hold the state accountable. Yeah. 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 It is the government at the center that has allowed this to happen in our region. They are using all of us. Oh, you belong to this tribe. Oh, you're not from here. Oh, you're from there. Let us not allow them to use us. But let us say that we are the government and they merely represent us. And we need to ensure, we need to ensure that they answer, they answer for every bit of violence that has been unleashed, for every home that has been burnt down, for everybody who has been displaced and who has to look for a new home today from Manipur, for the rapes, the ones we know of and, and the ones that have not been reported as yet. We
We shall overcome. We shall.
deep hurt in a moment of shock of what has been going on in Manipur for the last two and a half months. For two and a half months, the duty holders have kept up. Two and a half months, two and a half months, they have kept mum. People are sending appeals, and I am so irritated. Do we need to appeal to duty holders to do their duty? We have elected them to do to serve us.
Hey, boy, he's the light, 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 he's the